Hi, my name is Thorsten Lang, founder and director of the Reiki Academy in London, Hey House author for Reiki, and I would like to share some thoughts today about uh, Reiki as part of the human evolution. I've been thinking a lot about this idea because uh, there is so much debate around the idea of evolution and how everything is developing. And for quite some time, I didn't completely buy into that. When we look at ancient spiritual texts, I always thought they are so deep, they are so profound, there's so much understanding. Has mankind really changed and developed that much? And quite frankly, when I look around, when I look around at the internet or the news at today's politics, I would see, well, it's, it's almost the opposite that sometimes is happening. But that's not the point. In one respect, there is a huge evolution. It's almost a revolution at present. And this is, we have come to a point where we accept our own responsibility for our life and the world. A few months ago, I've been in Egypt and I was just overwhelmed by the huge temples there. And apparently they were built as monumental places where sound was produced, where it was prayed and the energetic vibrations would then fill the entire space and resonate from there. Interestingly, only priests and the Pharaoh were allowed inside. So the really deep spirituality was reduced or was exclusive to just a very small number of people. When we then look at the major religions, there's always a clergy. There are always people that we go to to ask them to kind of be the intermediate between us and God or us and the universe. Of course, this is opening up. But for a long time, it was even, for instance, in the Christian religion, the case that um, Latin was used in the services. So nobody basically understood what was going on there except for the clergy. So people were kind of kept outside and kept in the need of having a middleman. And this really changed in the late 19th, early 20th century. And lots of different spiritual traditions started that put every normal individual as into the center of their own personal spiritual path. And Reiki is placed in exactly this tradition. We do need an attunement. We need to have this initial opening. So we need to basically take charge and say, yes, I want to learn Reiki. This is important for me. And once we've taken this step, once we had the attunement, then there is a direct we need nobody else anymore. All we need is to place our hands in gasho, this Japanese prayer position. And we don't even need to do that, but this is the traditional way. And connect to Reiki. We just think, I'm now connecting to Reiki. And it's there. We can directly ask the universe for help. We can feel raising our vibration. We can realize and get proof that we are always connected to higher levels of the universe. We are one with the universe. We don't need a middleman. It's ultimately liberating, but it also means everything now is our responsibility. It's our responsibility how we lead our life. It's our responsibility what changes we make. It's our responsibility how we interact with other people and how we bring this awareness into everyday life. But we are not alone. Every time we need help, we can just feel the connection to the universe and ask for help. For me, it's the most amazing thing. It's not just healing hands that we get in Reiki. It's proof in our hands that we are connected 
to something deeper. We are the universe. We are all exactly the same. There is no hierarchy. We are spirits. And this is what Reiki really wants to tell us. And practicing Reiki means to live in this awareness every single day. It's incredible. I hope you find this video helpful. I would appreciate if you could like it, if you want to subscribe or if you leave a comment below.